India Garden is a casual match 3 style of puzzle game, where you're using tiles to make your matches. It's similar to Snood or Bust a Move, but instead of firing a cannon and aiming your shots, you can pick which row you want to throw your tiles up in order to match up your symbols. The game story revolves around the Maharaja's garden that has been cursed, and you're trying to break that curse by earning money and then buying various plants and other stuff to build the garden up. The game is actually based on levels, and each time you complete a level, you move on to the next one with a potential star rating for how many turns it takes you in order to complete the stage. There's a total of 80 different challenging stages for you to take on. One aspect I like about the game is that you actually have two tiles to use at all times, and you can decide which one you want to use by switching them either by clicking or by using the right mouse button, and this will really come in handy and can enhance the overall strategic feel of the title. They do add some challenging aspects to the game, like bushes that will block your path you have to destroy, locked blocks, hovering blocks that won't end up going with the gravity when you destroy the blocks below it, or in this case above it, as well as a few other things here and there. There are also some power-ups that you can get to help you out that you unlock as the game progresses, including a rainbow that can actually turn all the blocks within its radius into one particular color, making it easy to get rid of a whole bunch of them at one time. Your main goal, though, is just to keep playing the levels, getting star ratings, and earning enough money to buy the different elements of the garden. You have four things that you have to buy at first. Once you buy those four, it then moves on to the next set of four potential items, such as bushes, flowers, statues, fountains, and other things. And you have a choice of which ones you want to select from in order to build the garden up. So there's a little bit of customization here, but overall it's very minimum, and your main focus here is definitely on the puzzle game aspect. From the presentation aspect, the game's okay, there's some small cutscenes, just text, no dialogue spoken or anything like that, but I do like the music that goes along with the puzzle game aspect, it didn't end up getting on my nerves after long play sessions of hearing it for a while. From the technical side of things though, the game ran fine, I didn't run any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. India Garden is available now on Steam for $6.99, it does not feature any Steam achievements or Steam trading cards unfortunately. Overall, India Garden is a simplistic, casual-style puzzle game. It gets the job done with what it's trying to do, however, if you're not really a big fan of these kind of games, you're probably not gonna like it. However, the relatively low price point is okay for an occasional break from other games, or if you're a real puzzle game enthusiast, you'll probably get at least some enjoyment out of it, though it's nothing particularly special. With everything said, I'm gonna be giving India Garden on Steam an average 5 out of 10. But anyway, guys, this is going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.